acknowledge you, Holy Spirit. Venandi sile garadia se ve vile kuje ve radia se venandi la eke fondo se ve ladi sa valandi la. I viando se ve liko baradia se ve vina kabena su fe fe le kimba da sile kiva la gaviando sa belates. Rege de vina se venando shibe de velis ke tiva landa baradis ke velanti. Precious Spirit of the Living God, we acknowledge you tonight. Amante Kobanaski, Feleku Venantali, Eruge Veanda Bose Venante, Akabande Sibaradi Siva Villa Kujaveni Kibanante Sivalante, Eko Papeande Sifenanto Baradia Sevelante, Eku Venente Sibanante. Oh, Spirit of the Living God, we acknowledge you. Ekepentos Kifanante, Bereku Sivianta Balasu Vevelacate, Eko Pepenese Felico Barriga. The villa Kobali Kefila Katali. You are the spirit of life, and we acknowledge you tonight, Holy Ghost. Pete Fenante Cabonse, Erede Siva Vianta Bala Siva Latte, Ecupe Petali, Arada Siavanante Skibala Tave. Chapter 19. Kavena si baradia si va vila kadi vena ski banante. Evana suve deli baradis ke venantes. Luke chapter 19 from verses 1. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. You know every every meeting we have in church, every single session is designed to be an encounter between us and God. It is not just for us to come and listen to the servant of God speak. It is not just for us to come and see ourselves and fellowship with each, other, with each other. But it is that we can have an experience, an encounter that makes the person of God real to us. Hallelujah. And so tonight is another meeting. Tonight, tonight is supposed to deliver unto us again another experience. An experience, you know. Okay, let's read from Luke chapter 19. There's a way we can hear the word. There's a way we can see. There's a way we can hear things and not come into the experience of it. You can come into town and they will tell you that there's a new bread in town. But until you have, until you eat out of it, you cannot know that this is what this thing is. You just know that, okay, there's a bread called this bread. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 19 from verses 1. Can we read together? It says, okay, and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who watched, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was what rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was a li of little stature. Please, let's go back to verse 3, very quickly, very quickly. He says, the man sought to see Jesus. The same way we've all gathered tonight to see the person of Jesus. I don't know what your desire is, but I believe that your desire for being in church tonight is to see the person of Jesus, just like Zacchaeus. But Zacchaeus had an issue. He said he could not for the press because he was of what he was of little stature. He had an infirmity, what you can call an infirmity. Hallelujah. Next verse. He could not see Jesus because of an infirmity, because of his stature. Now, verse 4, he says, And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. Speaking of Jesus, Jesus was to pass what? Jesus was to pass that way. Now, this man knew that Jesus was going to pass a place. The Bible says that where two or three are gathered in my name, there will I be in their midst. It is so sure. I know that God is going to come here tonight. The Holy Spirit is going to come here tonight. But it is very possible that not all of us have an experience. It is very possible that not all of us come to see Jesus. It is very possible that we do not all see Jesus. Why? Because we have an infirmity. So this man had to look for help. He had to climb a tree. He had to be carried to be what? To be able to see Jesus. Verse 5. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up. Jesus saw him. And saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at the house. Last verse. And he made haste and came down and received him what joyfully. So Jesus was able to spot the man Zacchaeus because Zacchaeus was accurately positioned. There was an experience that Jesus, Jesus said, if you go to the next verse, let's go to verse 7. Verse 8, where Jesus was speaking. Okay, let's go back to verse 5, sorry. For today, Jesus said, for today, I must abide at thy house. There's an experience that Jesus has put in place for every one of us. That is a must that you have that experience today. Because that experience is going to shape your destiny. That experience is going to shape our work with God. But if we are not accurately positioned, we can miss it. So we want to cry and ask the Lord tonight that the Holy Spirit will please come and position us. You can come here, you might have an experience, you might have a desire in your heart that truly I want to see Jesus, I want to know him as the light of life, but because of an infirmity, probably there's something that is going on and you are not accurately positioned, you might not see him, but we have help. 
The Bible says the spirit does what he helps our infirmities, and we come calling on him tonight that we can position us accurately, that we can be in the right place, that our hearts can be set at right, that our minds can be set at right, that there will be no distraction, that there is nothing taking us away, that we can set our face, our gaze on Jesus, and we can see and we can come to the experience of Jesus as the light of life. Oh, finante shiba baradia shiba latevi, akabe suve finante ki balante, rababanda shiva nante ski balante. Oh, Holy Ghost, peke teve li kabaradi ski venante, akabe sobenante. We ask for a position tonight. We ask that you position us a right for an encounter, for an experience of the person of the Lord Jesus. Radati ate shiva nante, peke teve li ski balante. There is that which our ears have heard. We If air is the light of the world, but we want to come into an experience. We want to see that light of life have operation in us. We want to see that light of life function in us. And we come praying, we come asking for a positioning. Petes kifanante, ragandas kapelate, eke bossi valatwa, petes sigabante skibalatwa, regada babila kobabila sabelate. Jesus said unto Zacchaeus, for I must today come into your house. Jesus is saying unto you, for I must. Today, meet with you. I must today, this evening, this session, meet with you. Oh, Palesi Fanante, but if you are not that greatly positioned, there's a possibility that we can miss that which God has planned for us. Petesh Katena, Aradish Keto, Velek Ebin Ante Shatela, Ikwateli Kivenante, Ekube Bebenate, Rakatata, Abantashi, Lege Venanto Saleba, Rekwata Libatali. Position my brother so good by your Spirit, position us so God that we can come into the fullness of that which you prepared for us tonight. Peles ke belante, rekoti vivi la kuveli kablanta ski valatwa, aketos ke tema, peleton tilatwa, eretwa se, rekateli kabalatwa, eku kabenante, elwa te tema, peletos ki banate. Beyond our fastings, beyond our praying, that we are carried by the Holy Ghost to that place where we can have an encounter with the person of the Lord Jesus tonight. Retetina aventoli shekapana kita lida. Rekwatali, ekwatali nanteli, shekete pa abantosi, eruate la pa pateteli, ratosa feleki bantolia, rate, 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 abetosa. He carries us beyond the weaknesses of our flesh. He carries us beyond our infirmities. Lefinantosa lia, eruate skipete, elantosa tila, arata ta ta ta, ekatwaseli parao. Ebentosane peletwa sabela kabila kubali kabara kali balasale. Tonight, the Lord can grant us encounters that might have taken us three days of dry fast. But in His mercies, if He come and look upon us and carry us from that place where we currently are and bring us to that place where we need to be, by His mercies, lefati apaskote shapatale arontasi leke banatala ratetale akwate laba Holy Ghost liva daki bato shada akape akape atwa. Si rata ta ta ta, rata ta ta, rata ta ta, bata skape, mante kobala twa, ikwate ligabo, eswa si la kape, shata pa, shata pa, shata pa. Two minutes more, can we pray? Efene tu kape, berete saya, ekante shanema, shika pa bota, eleke vina, barate, barate, akwata talima, sheke banante, aikapa, aikapa, aikapa. Shata ba, arata tata ba, live in Antoski banatwa. Holy Ghost, we call upon you. Redo sandi nate, aika kosali, eru akabe nate. Shiga ba ba ba, akapa, akapa, bante sate, akwantali, shibel tente ba, akosanti la, rakata tae, abata, abata, ligonte nasi, atema, 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 we desire. Experience. We desire an experience of God. Fenamata kibala tapa. Redemonte ta. 
ni bando saya ile kebote ikuamata au peke to peke to peke to peleti reke teke ti bala kota bata ashate 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 bando beyond knowledge beyond that which can be said beyond that which can be which we can see in others we desire personally experience that makes this claim that you are the light of life that validates this claim in our life shatata ratata am shakadila riko shatba asana minatali ashate 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 go for my brother's lord go for my sister's lord riando samanade ekekeke bila kubala kivalata retata ya retata ya retata ya retata kibana salaba Thank you, Jesus. The source of life. A woman must have a cup of bata. He get it, 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 Our God is faithful. E komi a sabi a kapa bate. E washi ke deli a kapa. Re te 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 te. E washa ba 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 bate. E ya washa me be ti a ta. Adi a no se me be ti a sha ka ba 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 bate. Re da 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 ba sha ta ta. E komi a sha ba 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 di a deli a ka be na te. E washi ke ke bi a sha ka ba 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 ba. Oh, our God is faithful. E ru me le se bi a ka ba bi a te. Oh, faithful God, we bless your name. Faithful God, we bless your name. Faithful God, we bless your name. Erunde de 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 me nota. Ie de 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 ba. Ie de 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 ba. Erwasabiate. The Scripture says, Our God is faithful. Through whom we have been called into fellowship with Jesus. It is true God. We have been called into fellowship with Jesus. Ami atata mi asha ba ba ba. Hey, come and us to be led by Him. Rete de 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 mi asha ba ba. With my mouth, will I make known that?
Father, we lift your name tonight. We understand the shape of this season. A season that has burdened us with the weight for the restoration of your witness in the earth. We are glad that you have chosen us. And Lord, we ask for grace, like the last song, to labor into that place where a generation will praise your name. Not just in words, not just in a song, but that our lives will give off an advertisement of not just who you are, but what you are. Let it be, O oh God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. You may please be seated. I would need some extra volume on this microphone. By mercy, I've been away for a few days. I was actually out of town on Friday. I was at um, the Union Shogo campus. It was a time of conviction. I was supposed to be there the whole week, but the Lord forbade me. And so as a last minute arrangement, I had to show up on Friday night alone. And it was because the Lord will have me bring a warning to that campus. The burden of the Lord may actually implicate some of us. It had to do with um, a people not responding accurately to repeated visitations of the Lord. And that's why he sent me there. The Lord gave a parable. And I think that um, anyone who is at home with the speakings of the Lord in this season should um, want to press into that subject. I spoke from Hebrews chapter 6 and you can give me that verse of scripture. It might be an accurate warning for someone from verse 6. Okay, let's just go to 7 and 8. Um, the Bible says, For the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh oft upon it. That word oft is often. And bringeth forth herbs meet for them by whom it is dressed. Receiveth blessing from God. In a summary, that verse is saying that the investments of God on a land are supposed to yield a fruit that pleasures the one who labors upon it. That land begins to attract a blessing. So the land can be a life. It can be an institution. It can be a city. It can be a nation. It can also represent a local assembly. It can also be a church denomination. There is an expectation as of the Lord that lands yield appropriately so that God is pleasured. Verse 8. But that which beareth tons and breas is rejected. It means God can reject persons, can reject a person, can reject a community, can reject a, an institution, can reject um, a local assembly. God can also reject a whole denomination. And the grounds for rejection are clearly stipulated. Any land that yields contrary to the investment of God will suffer rejection. And the Bible says it's nigh unto cursing. So we see a progression a progression into oblivion. It is first rejected and then it draws close to a cursing. It means the power for productivity will be removed and ultimately 
it will be perished in burning um so this was all i did and then we prayed and then asked that the lord will stay up men who will keep this christ going on and jesus came and we left on saturday morning i i'm still pleading with them to also give me that recording i had the privilege of ministering in redeemers university and it was a world conference on the subject divinity um that's a difficult subject for me to to handle now because i'm i'm in the eye of many storms <laughs> um but what i did was to labor to position those who feel otherwise whether by exposure to the word of god or exposure to many things to pitch them against the word of god and from scriptures we were able to come up with nine basic definitions that stand god out as divine you are not divine to mention a few god exhibits transcendence it means that he exists between human needs and real or physical needs and reality all human beings exist within the boundaries of physical needs and physical reality two is the reality of a god um, who exhibits immanence it means that god can be fully contained and when we talk about full containment it means his thoughts his processes his attributes his potencies can be fully contained that's the mystery that jesus came to unveil that's what we call the mystery of godliness Colossians bore witness to God's immanence when it said that he had pleased the Father that the fullness of the Godhead should dwell in him, in one man. And that our completeness is in that man. So it was all of God. Jesus was not playing with words when he said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. It means this is all that the Father is. Nothing more, nothing less. It is impossible for a man to be fully contained in another. And so you do not exhibit that, so you are not divine. You are not omnipresent and cannot be. You are not omniscient, that's omnipresent is all present. Omniscient, that's all knowing. You are not also omnipotent, so you are not, you are not divine. You do not exhibit true personhood because the subject of personhood is that when we dissect you there's no other person that contributed to you no human being can stand that way Emmanuel uh, you are a contribution of many people <laughs> your thoughts your actions and there are things you drew from a lot of people so only in the Godhead can you see the purity of personhood no, no human being can come into that characteristic feature that we call perfect goodness at best you are like the tree of knowledge of good and evil when we start with you it can be pleasurable but you still have the capacity to bring things that are not beneficial only god you remember that person that came to jesus and said good teacher what did jesus say he said there is none good except god jesus was saying you see you cannot attribute goodness to a man you must first start by acknowledging that he's God. And only his Godness can produce goodness. Are you with me? Okay. So we also spoke of the characteristic feature of necessity. I can do without anybody, ultimately. They are close substitutes to everybody. How many of you believe that? Yes. But there's no close substitute to God. God is necessary. So... Um, which other one, which other one, which other one um, I, I can't remember all but there were nine of them and then we now laid the grounds for our ability to tap from the resources of divinity and indeed Peter was going to bring that instruction to us he said that God decided to use a medium 
to connect us to divinity it was by great by exceeding great and precious promises we were established to be partakers of the divine nature so our fellowship is by promises so nobody is God not father not son not Holy Ghost that's not accurate doctrine but you have the ability to tap from the resources of the Godhead and I'm going to try to relay the foundation I laid on Saturday as my start of tonight that the key to tapping is believing somebody say believing all right so that's what i did during the weekend on sunday yes i was supposed to be around on sunday my car has been bad for one week you know and, and I, we thought we were going to have redemption this evening but they said um it will work so i've had to take my son to school every morning with the bike and bring him back in the afternoon it doesn't take anything away from you anyway but in case some of you are worried we didn't sell it we are not hungry you see god is god is with us we expect that it should be back in a few days and then and expect the other one that he would do yes because um i trust him so on saturday we had to charter a vehicle for an afternoon meeting in Lauren. we finished i'll have been here by seven but as we we're driving out i was with pastor timothy we had a flat tire and then the extra tire they put there to start misbehaving so i told the driver just be going slowly we parked inside that Ilone Obomosho Road three times before we got to trying to check tires, you know, but we are always safe. All right. The subject was the revelation of Jesus. And I'm waiting for that sermon too. Because my assignment was to unveil the Lord. But I went into the meeting with a body. That there are too many attempts to reveal Jesus. But our attempts cannot outlast persecution. Everybody talks about Jesus. What do you call him? Your, your Lord. So everybody says Jesus is Lord. And if you go far into the market on social media, you will see a lot of advertisements to the Lordship of Jesus. Even if people don't subscribe. Let's not even go into subscription. I mean we wear it on our bodies. As tops, as jeans, print on it. You will soon see the shoes coming because... People love to associate with a Lord that they are not submitted to. We wear it as bands. We wear it as caps. We put it on our status every day saying that Jesus is king. Some say Jesus is God. I hope you all believe that he's God. You don't believe, raise your hand. What you believe matters. He's God. He's God. He was advertised, simply put, that's a regular scripture, in John chapter 1 as the word. And the Bible said that in the beginning, a beginning superior in beginnings to Genesis 1, the word was. And that that word was kept with God or was in the company of God and that that word itself was good. So if you believe that Jesus is the word, then you must also acknowledge that he's God. And that was what Jesus was saying to that person who came to him. Good teacher. Say, don't call me good, for no man is good, no one is good except God. So he was saying, to call me a good teacher is demeaning. Call me God. And that's what makes me good. Are you with me? All right. So that was my burden. And I was explaining that there are basically two gates of revealing Jesus. There is um, an utterance gate. And that utterance can come from a pulpit, can come from the street, can come from t-shirts, can come from songs. But what happens in a day of persecution where the gate of utterance suffers two assaults? Because according to Matthew chapter 29, that the, the witness of that gate can be corrupted. Matthew 28, the Bible said that in the day he resurrected, he was to be called the resurrected one. They paid people to lie that he didn't resurrect they stole his body you remember that story that's why jesus needed witnesses so the the utterance gate can be corrupted and in acts chapter 4 they were called and beaten and warned that they should no longer speak in his name it means he can suffer corruption 
and it can also suffer oppression what will be left to reveal jesus and i found out that god had that day in mind and so when you were saved he invested jesus inside you so that the last line of defense will be a man who is the revelation of the christ that in the day the world wants to know that is a good god they just need to meet a christian and the christian begins to manifest his goodness and you can't rip you can't corrupt that one i'm saying you can't pay me not to be me because i didn't become like this as an act of will i called him lord and he reworked me are you with me yes my recalibration I didn't know how much was going to recalibrate me. I would there would still be a witness to the fact that Jesus did this to me. So even if they tie our mouths, our lives will still be subjects of research to know how we became this way. So God has kept men in the earth as the last line of revelation for Jesus, and we need to begin to take that responsibility. The burden is that believe when people come to you and they speak to you you don't allow him respond there is a layer that we have mounted so our responses are not from within they are superficial when the onus is upon you to act in a certain way you don't act from the one who lives within so that it can be revealed you act from you that is superficial so a day has come when we must tear off the skin and let them see who is there who makes us excellent who makes us capable the world needs to see that is jesus acting and that's how it will be revealed the many names will come out of living experiences and not words are you with me so jesus in acts chapter one did not speak about the coming of the holy ghost that will produce witnesses about him because that would have been the gate of utterance it's not wrong but in a day they close that gate they will show up as witnesses unto him replicas so that in the city of antioch they were called christians as a byproduct of a very deliberate research into the source of their behavior may you in the day that the witness of Jesus begins to dwindle, become a gate for revealing him. Okay. So, we'll wait for the full sermon. And Jesus was gracious in that service too. So, um, before I go on tonight, we want to thank God for as many who have partnered with us for the Ark of Preservation. We are not struggling to finish because we have handled the end in the spirit. And that's why we are bold to come this far. Where we are currently is a witness to what Jesus can do to those who believe in him. What I've come to do in the house tonight and to, well, for those who are online and some of you who are here who have been giving i want to encourage you to keep giving if you have been praying i want to encourage you to keep praying but whatever posture you have taken that got that building to that point i want you to continue to take it definitely we understand that we are this is a kingdom of rewards now where is Belum? because this picture is not current at all this picture is like two months ago there's even no glass on that building the way it is so since you are around let's know that you're around that be now good so we have an upgrade to what we have there we already have um, all our window panes are in place most of our burglary proofings have been installed um, we are just trusting God to go a little bit more in payments and then we will have our doors we are trusting God for quality equipment so we don't want to put wooden doors we want to put very serious security doors and they are part of our current payment so we started at 24.5 we have only paid 16 that's a fit that's not for the whole building no. <laughs> 16 
the 24.5 was to take care of wiring which is complete remaining only uh, uh, electrical panels you can't install those things because there are no doors so if you come in you find out that some areas even already have lights okay so that's to also take us through glass windows some bit of um, plastering yes uh, inside outside final plastering um what else do we have there so, um railings yes all our staircases have railings you know quite a lot of finishing works the heavy part of it went into cable so we're trusting god that um once we are done with this pre-finishing stage the only things we need to do on the building will be flooring landscaping outside the toilets will come up and um and paint and they were good to go now oh, look, those chairs we go into furnishing somebody will buy all the chairs so um if god blesses you buy chairs now ah, so the chairs even me i want to buy chairs I, maybe all of the chairs so it's um it's not a so quite a lot of meetings are going on people are contacting us as to what part they are going to play our body is just we want to make sure that every source is legitimate you know so that's so some people have contacted we want to do this and i blocked their line because when i checked i found out that there was corruption we can't come this far and put ill-gotten money in that beauty so we keep trusting god that god will bring honest people of means who can be part of the project we will open it this year yes so i have agreed on a on a month with um our father the apostle arumi osai if papa has to come and open it it's he it cannot be any other person and um, he will come so let's keep praying we trust god that there will be a reign of finance in the name of Jesus. For you've got times and seasons in your hands. You called for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. You have chosen. You have chosen to call me your Now Lord. from your heart, quiet. You've got times, you've got, got times, times and seasons in your head. God for life, you God for life, out of darkness. And you, you don't need a man to be for God. You are, you have chosen. You have chosen to call me. Okay, choir one more time. You've got times, you've got times And seasons in your hands Oh, you called for light You called for light You don't need a man You don't need a man To be the God you are To call me, oh, 
is God by himself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are who you are yesterday, today and forevermore. What you say is what you You start, you 
always finish <laughs> come to realize you're too faithful to fail me amen some of you think it's about the ark i'm singing no i have found out that i'm a work in progress i'm a work in progress there is a shape of ministry that I am entering into. It still has a lot of um, a lot of sharp edges, but he's committed. He's committed to finish it. When he finishes it, darkness will not have a space. <laughs> I've been laughing a lot these days, Pastor. Your life, my sermons, and it's because I'm too sure. Of what Jesus is doing. Maybe when I have a meeting with our pastors, I'll share my son, Pastor Damnola, this afternoon about the two men that God is trying to forge into a body. Darkness will not be able to breathe. I found it out. I saw a picture on the status. Have you seen the status today? I saw a few of you stand together. I think it was you. A man in he was there. The Genesis, you know, and what I told myself was, ah, see what God is built. Is that in every territory there will be a light bearer, and the numbers are increasing every day. It looks as if those people who have identified themselves as lights are converging. We don't need to go after anybody. But you think you have light. Everybody is joining themselves. Because what God wants. How many of you have watched Voltron before? Okay, you don't know Voltron. You have watched Voltron. This is my friend from Shagam. I, it was. What's her name now? One of these, my daughters that saw you in the picture. And said, ah, this is how we got to know you. Bola, Yes. Voltron is, is a robot, a fighting robot, but it's designed to be in pieces. All of them are masters of different terrains. There is the water aspect that can survive on its own. There is the master of the air. There is the master of the earth. I can't remember the fourth one. And then there's the head. Once the enemy is big, the annunciation is from Voltron. And everybody will come back and form one single robot so one becomes two of them become legs two become arms and then the head now takes its place what jesus wants to deploy to see that he sees the travail of his soul and is comforted is like voting remember in the valley of dry bones all of us showed up hopeless in that valley but the wind is blowing and when the wind begins to blow, the first thing that happens is not that an army stands, it's that bone begins to come to bone. And that formations are happening. In the midst of the noise, God is collecting, connecting accurate men. I'll share with them, Lola, that I've not found, I didn't know I was relevant until now. I didn't know. Someone called me from Canada. He said, are you the reverend everybody is talking about? I said, it's me. He said, I've been on your page since morning. And I've been listening. And I'm wondering, where have you been? Every man has a day of showing. Sometimes he comes in a storm. Every man has a day of showing. And how Jesus launches his men is that he puts a burden on them that cannot stand degradation. If you are a burdened man, the shape of things will betray what you are carrying. Yes. So, I, I'm saying this because a lot of people have been sending me condolence messages. <laughs> Say, Papa, we are praying for you. I am strong. I saw this thing. I was telling my wife, last week I was, I was on, about to go on a journey, sit down choir, and I was trying to hang my clothes on the clothesline, and I felt a presence. I know when an angel comes. It's, it's, not, it's not a strange thing. And many times they come and create spectacular movements. I know when the Holy Ghost comes, he scatters things. I was telling my wife, I don't know why when Jesus comes, he's always calm. 
I think that because of his human cloak, you need a strong knowing to be able to separate between the coming of the Lord and his spirit. He came and he said four lines to me. He said, it all looks dark, but at the end, my church will be standing. He said, the force I will eliminate so that my church will be standing. He said, son, a storm is coming, but you will win and my church will be standing. The last thing he said to me was be of good cheer. How can Jesus come and I be ruffled? I've seen the end. What we will see is a church that is pure. What we will see is a generation that was marked to waste. Not only in the field but in church buildings that survived. What we see is the touch of Jesus carried high again. Where we will see the truth of God's word. Readvertised in our midst. That's what we will see. We will see our campuses burn not with strange flames. But with men who have been purified in the furnace. That's the picture we see. I see young ones march in their ranks. That's what I see. This is not about me. It's not about the person. I understand the shape of my warfare. And I'm going to start building you for warfare. Because this shape of warfare, many of you don't know how to fight it. You have seen men for too long. I found out in scriptures that we wrestle. We wrestle. Somebody say wrestle. But it's not against flesh and blood. So if you deal a blow, you must expect a blow. That's proof that you, are, you, are, you have touched the enemy. So if I've been following the trend on social media, all of the guys they are talking about still talk to themselves. Including me. I still talk to my brothers. <laughs> because it's a brotherhood fight. <laughs> yes. So uh, uh, what is divided on social media but deep in everybody's heart to understand the rebuke that Jesus is bringing. And we trust Jesus that we will see change. That's what we're after. We trust Jesus that in this day of our shining, we will not corrupt the body. That's the cry. And it's a cry I've been praying since all of these things started. So I don't even know what anybody said. But they always send stuff to me. But I'm not rough. That's why I'm in Ubomosho. I'm not if I was in Lagos, it'd be a different thing. But I'm here. Is it not awesome that from Ubomosho, Jesus is trying to change the narrative in the church? Is it not awesome? So Kilatum That in this small building, when some people come, they'll be shocked that it all happened in this small building. I've been up. Ah, I have heard his voice. I have heard his voice. We will all win in the end. All of us. All of us. Because we will all come to the understanding of the burdens of the Lord this hour. That the church at this injury time can no longer draw reality from the world. It won't happen. So be a good chair. Don't hate on anybody. I'm saying me, I love everybody. And I'm still praying for everybody. And I'm still communicating. So. You know it's only the video you put saw. You didn't know about our, our private Bible study. After the video. Nobody's talking about it. So. We are still doing Bible studies. And long Bible studies. To establish truth amongst ourselves. So. Don't worry. <laughs> ah. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. All right. The light of life. We're going to pray shortly, but let me run and then we pray and we continue. The light of life. Father, tonight we receive your word again with thanksgiving. Our hearts rejoice at your utterances. We embrace your instructions. Our hearts are open to embody your light. Let it be impossible for any of us to sustain life in darkness. 
let the scales on our eyes be far removed let the veil be turned that that glorious light that shines from your eyes can bring illumination to us in the name of Jesus we restrain spirits of error and we come against world views that have been built in the hearts of men we ask that tonight as the word of God in truth by mercy collides with error those walls will come down Amen. we give you praise and glory in Jesus name we have prayed Amen when you read scriptures one of the things you must do these days is that you must be on tongues in initiating your journey into scriptures you must speak the way I just spoke conscious let your mind hear that you are rebuking falsehood sometimes it's not consciously learned i saw a video by my spiritual father recently he saw a a beast emerge within our landscape the apostle Aram. it's on youtube this beast had a lot of tattoos on it and i've not come to talk today is not a tattoo talk it's for another day but let's go on um, but the beast was tattooed and God told him I can't remember fully but let me paraphrase what he said that it was like a whispering spirit the design was to whisper erroneous utterances to ranking men so that the land is filled with a lot of error if you believe I'm not trying to do that break that if you believe that spirits don't hear tongues if you believe in some quarters they say speaking in tongues is a bypass protocol am i saying something you've never heard before my bible says that um that he that speaketh in unknown tongues speaketh mysteries good who does not understand it Eh? men so well i don't know where we invented help me find the verse it's, it's men okay for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but unto god for no man somebody say no man so we need to go back into scriptures this verse does not establish that tongues bypasses spirits are you with me i burn myself by a note i have to be very careful <laughs> so the bible says for no man understandeth him how be it in the spirit he speaketh mysteries things that are hidden from um non-initiates that's what a mystery is it's not something that is totally hidden it means things that a class of people cannot hear i feel this is where they invented bypass protocol because it means that this language is only supposed to be understood within the godhead because it speaks unto god and whoever is not initiated into the Godhead should not be able to understand it. But I also hear that people say that when you speak in tongues, your angels move on. Just no scriptures. Are you with me? So the concept here is that no man hears. He speaks mysteries. But the direction has been given God. Are you with me? All right. How did I even get here? okay okay so we were speaking about the whispering spirits so it's not tattoo it's error i'm talking about okay so you will need to when you approach the word of god because there are many ways these spirits bring error they can whisper a thought into your heart and then you now go into scriptures and look for a verse of scripture to validate the error you mangle the scripture you tie it with a rope that's what we used to say on campus you tie it with a rope you now turn the head upside down 
so he's helpless he can't turn himself back there are also times that these spirits to make it look like it's the spirit of god they don't come when you are idle they come during your study times and they begin to give to your heart other interpretations of verses of scripture like did god not say and you think it's the holy spirit trying to bring you into those things that get response like ah, oh, oh, oh deep gun there are depths that are demonic god doesn't always speak new the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end they are new every morning the word new there is fresh it means he can be saying the same thing the same verse of scripture it may be the new a, a, the same revelation but it's hitting you differently are you getting my point that's the design so you have to consciously and you see the battlefield is not your spirit it's your mind unfortunately because you're also a man speaking in tongues you don't have capacity to understand so you must speak a language that your heart understands that you are resisting error on behalf of your mind nothing strange will be heard here no misinterpretation will be heard here i block my mind to any spirit that will misinterpret the word of god i will not take any position for scriptures that god has not taken you can you can now go into tongues but make sure that part of that prayer your heart understands it are you with me yes consciously we must build resistance to the spirit of error don't wait till he comes you might not be able to manage it may god give you understanding all right now quickly i want to bring an emphasis to the realities that surround the possession of life and then we begin to journey from there romans chapter 6 verse 23 the light of life part 2 romans 6 23 for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ our lord how many of you know this verse of scripture all right one of the first things you will find out in this verse of scripture is that the word sin is not reg re is not registered in pluralized form are you with me so even though wrongdoing attracts penalties from god paul is speaking within the context of genesis chapter 3 the original sin that which opened the spiritual gate and allowed the nature of sin to find expression in god's new world that was created anyone who possesses that nature will ultimately commit what we call sins and sins have to do with the outworkings of the nature are you with me so paul is saying every time you show up your end will be judged by the nature that you possess and what god pays a man who still embodies the nature of sin is death this is according to the judicial decree in genesis chapter 3 or that was advertised in genesis chapter 2 in the day you eat of the fruit of this tree you will die the word death here means total separation from god so it means in eternity that person will be separated but even in time there will be signs that there is no contact you know what they call partial contact in electricity the light blinks sometimes it sparks because the wires are not well fixed so the person will be able to bear witness to seasons of power supply but there will be no sustained supply are you with me because the contact is not full it's partial so today the person can testify to being blessed of god but tomorrow the person will still testify to be oppressed of darkness 
because his contact with life is partial and the older that person gets the more disconnected that person will be have you seen two wires expressing that reality before every spark do you know what sparks do to wires they wear the wires out after a while the wires self they will now not touch again so that looks like a good definition of what god said in genesis chapter 2 in the day you eat of the fruit of this tree in dying in many separations you'll be separated are you getting me so after man fell adam could still talk with god but after a while there was an expulsion out of the garden and then man began to live in an ecosystem that god no longer was that's why it was possible to kill that's why it was possible for those princes of god to behold the daughters of men and go into them and strange beings rose in the earth because man began to function with the consciousness of a civilization that was separated from god even cain when he killed his brother was afraid that he'll be killed it means murder was already in the earth are you with me all right so every time the same nature whether it is expressed so this verse does not exempt a moralist a moralist is one who is trying to use natural laws or human laws and will to suppress the outworkings of the sin nature he's not saved but he's trying to manage anger he's trying to still love no matter what a person does the person will still need to fellowship with the grace of god or at the end what that person will get is death good but the bible says to us that there is a turning point in this experience but the gift of god and that establishes that god is a giver the gift of god is what is eternal life and the one who administers the giving the corridor through which the life is dispensed towards man is jesus christ our lord now i want you to when you design where's timmy when you create apps because i know there are apps that are replicated on android and on um yes ios right that's for the iphones good um there is like an extension a file extension that shows what it works for abby am i saying so okay ah, oh guys here now abby so which i don't know what it used now but one used to use apk that's android what do they use for ios okay but once you see apk you know it will work on an android phone good so what i'm saying is jesus also has extensions like what you see there so paul is very careful in administering to us the extension that's the face of jesus that occasions the reality we advertise it means that this gift that is called eternal life is administered through jesus the person but it is his lordship that administers it so sometimes paul says jesus christ our lord sometimes he says jesus christ our savior are you with me good sometimes it doesn't come with an extension it means you cannot claim to have possessed eternal life and to possess it in functional mode because a man can have it in attenuated form where are my uh, um, anatomy students they don't come today okay you understand the concept of so, no you may not microbiology students you understand what when we say that a bacteria is attenuated it means it's not dead god of mercy what's happening here okay somebody give me the word attenuate that's how many of your um 
anti what do you call them antibiotics are made he's using the same thing to fight the same thing oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah what does it mean to attenuate it's not big english so it's just it comes from that register you said what bacteria or virus yes to reduce the virulence that's the activity okay of a bacteria or virus good so i'm saying that you can possess the life in attenuated form the violence has to do with the activity or the potency so that this person has plasmodium in the blood that's the vector that markets what i know i don't like this look on your face i'll relocate your chair now you don't know what plasmodium does it's malaria now abby when my lord used to teach he taught farmers with farming that's why he saw the parable of seeds he taught shepherds with sheep so if i can't teach students with what they are studying what am i going to use okay so you have learned a new word today it is attenuate to reduce the violence it means you don't kill it but you can manipulate it so that the dynamics of its activity are slowed down so when you do that ah, i wish bidemi was here bidemi is a merchant of this this fear of learning now if you take a virus and attenuate it it means that if that virus was supposed to kill like ebola how many days sometimes 24 hours if it's very very strong seven to eight days regular um period for maturation and the person is dead if you attenuate the ebola virus it can be in the body for maybe like six months and so it will be attempting to fight but your body will also be given the privilege to design antibodies that can manage it oh you think the vaccine goes into your body to to help you the vaccine is an attenuated virus so i'm saying if you want to cure covid if it's a biological one not this programmed one so if it's a biological one it's covid they are shooting into your body but in a weakened form so that your body can now learn how to manage it the normal one used to throw 20 punches this one can only throw two so with two punches you can match you can master the skills and then when he comes and wants to throw 20 punches you laugh i say i know the direction of your blows i can cut you out so that's how it works the life can also be managed like that it can leave tongues but that's the only sign that will be there so sometimes tongues alone as proof of possession of that life is the life functioning in attenuated form <laughs> there'll be no other sign that that person is saved apart from the fact that when he comes to church he can talk mommy sarah Omaku was lamenting this afternoon i don't know if i've seen the video for brides and bridesmaids now what do our, what do our sisters wear now the, the way she described the things, I can't even say it in church. I can only say it to my wife. That their slits will be here. They will now look for a brother who is managing himself. And now start dancing and twerking and twerking and twerking. And that some of them very no leg lines that they almost spill. Only for them to finish, get to reception, then they surround the wife. And they are ka -pa 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 -pa. And she's wondering from where. Uh, one of the last things that dies is tongues. But the other activities, you have been crippled. No purity. The mind of Christ will no longer be known. The way of truth will have been vacated. No signs. In the street, you can no longer bear witness that this one knows Jesus. But the tongues will still be there. The life can't be attenuated. 
Somebody is saying, but the Bible says the light shines in the darkness. In the darkness. Somebody say in the darkness. Yeah. The shape of the spirit that administers the life is what makes it open to attenuation. Because that spirit rules you to the degree that you submit to it. If the spirit of a witch enters somebody tonight, I said this about four years ago, if somebody embodies witchcraft tonight, they will not teach you how to appear in a coven from your bed. I know they say they used to hang their legs. It's not always. It's not always. There's not, it's a, it's, it's a self-operating software. So if we share sweet now, and the sweet is from somebody who is a merchant of the coven, everybody, even if you took, you, even if you didn't buy the sweet, you just licked it. And, they, and you gave it to the next person. All of you will stand in the coven. If we cast out the spirit or the craft, and that person becomes normal, was what makes a witch a witch? It's the possession of the craft. It's a combination of <laughs> all skills. <laughs> you know, a craft man is a, a skillful man. <laughs> that's how it works if you cast out the craft the person becomes a normal person if you now tell the person how do you go from your house to the coven the person will not be able to accurately articulate how they went because they were under an influence meanwhile it is because that spirit is a self-operating spirit the holy spirit is an educating spirit that's why if you enter witchcraft tonight you may be able to wreak havoc that somebody who got born again today cannot reverse. It's not because that person does not believe in Jesus. It's because that person has not been educated. So the Holy Spirit is an educating spirit. Evil spirits are educated spirits. The SMO needs an induction ceremony like the one they do for MLS. Once, once you are inducted, you are an SMO, you will see. But you will need to learn how to first differentiate between the sights of God and your mind. You will be educated. Are you with me? That way, the realities can be replicated. Are you getting me? That's the way it is. Because it's an educating spirit, it means beyond his potency. Your resistance in being educated can limit him. I don't miss school education, no. But the Holy Ghost is saying, this is how I used to. Say, leave me, leave me. I know what to do. You will come back with disappointments because you did not open your heart to be educated. Even when he wants to use you, he will seek your permission. And it's possible for man to use his will to say, not so, Lord. Did Peter die? What did God do? He just told him, paraphrasing what he said to him, was that you should you do not call what I call clean, unclean. What God was telling him is that Peter, no human being in himself has the ledger where clean is defined. I am the one who defines it. You can know it, but I'm the one who transports it. Tradition. The ways of men cannot, cannot define what is clean. And God withdrew it. But there was a man, a fringe man, whose name began to appear in the book of the Acts of Apostles. After not so, Lord. What was his name? Paul. In one way, in one way, I know that Peter had a mandate and he fulfilled everything that he was called to do. Open the kingdom to the Gentiles, open the kingdom to the Jews. Jews in Acts chapter 2, Gentiles in Acts chapter 10. But Bible theologians believe that, um, or, or historians believe that one of the things that suppressed his ministry, that's their belief, I'm just bringing their belief, suppressed his ministry was that, um, was not so Lord. That there were things that God could not bring him into as regards the expression of the commonwealth of Zion. Because 
he had a traditional base that resisted him. The life can be suppressed. So, you will need to unlock the virulence, the potency, the activity of that life by understanding the file extension that was attached to it that it is what lordship as long as you keep submitting to the government of that life the life will be fully expressed every time you infringe or infringe on his lordship it means you trespass you put your feet on his lordship and say no my will not yours be done that life will be attenuated so you have warnings in the new testament neither to to grieve nor to quench the spirit may god give you understanding all right so ah, my true entrance is that in this one verse we see two events that happened when your name belief was occasion The experience of the life that gives us light as one of its um, constituents began in the believer at the point of believing. However, that life began because death happened. So these two events happened at the same time in every believer. You began to live only because you died so the, the the wages of sin has been paid not on just on behalf of but by all of us because jesus paid that price as tolu not only for tolu that's why we say that the testimony of new life is the testimony of an exchange life come Daniel so if I say well I need to get somewhere you keep preaching he's doing two things he's preaching for me and he's also preaching as me so if he says in the name of Jesus what you expect is that his result or my result is his result because he's doing it not just for me he's not just helping me he's also replacing me are you getting my point the lord bless you there so they happened at the same time we paid the wages of sin in debt and immediately that wage was paid a gift was given and what occasioned the giving was believing somebody say believing they have it's because we have new people in the house so i want to be very petty believing that's what opened that gate two things death happened life was given and received god didn't attempt at your redemption to give you life and he dropped down no you have life can you say it with boldness you have life now we know that one of the reasons why that life may not be abundant is that a biological process which has a spiritual replica has acted on it the virulence of the life has been reduced its potency has been reduced but the life is still the life jesus in matthew chapter 5 was speaking um using a metaphor to define the reality of the believer and in verse 14 he said ye are the light of the world it was not a prophecy it was a statement confirming man's the believers identity now it is possible that the believer walks into a territory and the territory continues to sustain darkness that experience does not in any way impact upon the 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 verity that's the true nature of the utterance of jesus that ye are the light of the world 
he speaks from the understanding that if you have the life that life has the potential of illumination are you with me but the light can be under a bushel and sometimes the bushel itself you just want to please yourself feel yourself sometimes the bushel is people as a pastor the audience can become my bushel that there is what jesus is transmitting but i'm trying to look at their faces and i don't want to hurt their emotions so i can put something on what jesus is saying and suppress it so that instead of the totality of the light there, there are little little things that are seeping from the edge that people are excited about but they can't come into the ray that comes from jesus's light the only thing they see is the shine they don't come into the fellowship of the burning remember how jesus introduced john he said john was a burning and a shining light sometimes all that people can see is shining we have not allowed it to travel with full intensity so it can no longer burn it can no longer deform it can no longer change it can only excite so jesus said in verse 16 matthew 5 16 he said let your light so shine i've given you light but you can manage the violence let it so shine i'm not going to do that for you daniel you will you will deny yourself and allow it go full strength that they may see your good works good works there can also be translated god works because there's no true goodness the concept of complete goodness is drawn from complete godness they will see your good works no wonder they don't glorify the man who does good works they glorify your father the god who is the source of the good works who is in heaven is somebody with me tonight that's how it works so now everyone who is saved here i mean at one time because the gospel was preached to you you committed your life to jesus everyone who is saved has life and according to matthew chapter 7 give me matthew 7 13 matthew 7 13 this the economy the distribution of this life is designed to be from life to life that there are there are new layers of the life that are designed to come into so you journey from basic expressions of what you carry into more complex and more potent expressions the bible says enter ye in at the straight gate that's what the gate of salvation looks like it doesn't admit too many people for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many be there which go in thereat next verse verse 14 because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth to where to life you can't come in if you are not given life but your destination is also life so it's a journey from life unto life it's a journey from god's first investment unto fullness are you with me and unfortunately the bible says there be few that find it the bible didn't say there be few that journey daring and what i found out is that when the that way is actually introduced some of those few that find it don't even want to walk there i trust jesus that a day will come when such prophecies as we shall be many that wipe your tears we shall be many that 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 follow you will be true i pray that that day will come but many times the way of many is not the way of life 
I shared with one of our mystery sons in the show. Fika was bringing a body. Oh, was it Fika? Was it Fika? No. You don't know some, even know some of them. Uh, miracle. Miracle is in is in is in Ekpe, in Lagos. And he's he's doing well for Jesus with his wife. Miracle was we we're sharing on WhatsApp, and I said to Miracle, I said that God has revealed to us and placed our feet on a path that leads to life is something to be thankful for it's not everybody who has obtained that kind of mercy is he a no ni kwe a mimi ma fi ni mana it's his nature to function like that but some people have not received the mercy that aligns them imane there are things that you do once that you can't do again because mercy brings chastisement. It's not everybody that has received it. No. There were many people. Okay. What became of the followers of Paul? When he was saw? What are their names? Istiphanos. Or Titus was one of them. I and mean, he was not joining alone to Damascus. Not so. In the midst of that crowd. Mercy found one man. And the feedback was that he blinded that man. The Bible makes us understand that this, all of them saw light, but nobody heard the voice. How did mercy isolate a man for a conversation? Because if you didn't hear him, you will not call him Lord. How shall they believe except a man be sent? So it is by the preaching. The communication of Jesus, there was an advertisement that made Paul say, who are thou lord if they also heard maybe they will have called him lord what became of the rest some of them may have even taken his role that uh, what he learned here in me i'm the new i'm the new killer i remember the place where you brought me from Lord, I thank you for where I am today. I see you doing. I see you doing a new work in my life. And I thank you, Lord, and I thank you for the future I His mercy, his mercy, his mercy. His mercy that gave you lenses to see that you can't continue like this. When a gate of compromise opened, to begin to act, though you are still a, 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 a child of God, to act as a friend of Satan, it was mercy that gave you enough reasons not to go that way. Paul understood that we have received mercy wherein we stand. Maybe somebody is about to ask me, because we ask me strange questions. Sir, what do you do to get that kind of mercy? I will be merciful. Unto whom I will be merciful. And I will have compassion unto whom I will have compassion. Therefore, it is not unto him that will it. It means you did pray enough to come into that, that experience. Not unto him that run it, but unto God that showed mercy. He chose me for mercy. That's why gratitude, gratitude. In case you check your pocket and there's no money. You know, there's a reason why we are still excited even if we don't have money. The things we are doing, Pastor Diola, rich people could not come into them. Abibolu, they could not. Some of us will not have qualified if it was by property. Have you bought land? But you are saved. Imagine Jesus said, if you don't have one acre, he will not save you. 
He took away the price tag. Maybe he comes into Lautec and says, if you don't have a PhD, I will not save you. You know, many of you will have wasted. Because some of you are even trusting God to finish this first degree and find something to do. <laughs> now, anything that will take me to school again, never, never. Who is like that here? You see, there are some sincere people. It means you will not have been saved if you stopped the first degree. But he took away that mercy. Life to life. Journeys from life to life. Not just that new life is being given, but he's unraveling it. So that you come into new layers of life. That's how the journey of the believer is supposed to to express and like i said what opens the gate to you is that you believe so it's the gate is called the gate of believing the gate of believing i want to do some bit of work there because if believing opens the gate believing is what will bring you into the constituents of the life it's the same process in God, what we have found out is that entrance protocols need to be sustained. You know, I was giving, uh, I was giving an example because someone was preaching in a meeting that I went for somewhere. And the person said, you see, once you start with the... If you confess Jesus, you are made. Forever. You're, nothing can drop you out. And the person came with a lot of verses. So I came with Romans chapter 1 verse 20. Give me that verse of scripture. Let me help some of you. The arguments that are no longer necessary. The Bible says, For the invisible things of him. How many of you saw the life when you received it? What did it look like? Like a mountain. Like a key. Okay. But you believe that you have it. And you believe that it can function. Maybe one of these days we need to look at believing. Let somebody wakes you up and tells you and brings logic to make you see that I have been deceiving yourself all these years. Say so if you receive something, you not see it in your pocket. <laughs> so what God did was, as regards the thing, his things that are invisible, he decided to give us things in the visible realm to bring to us the knowledge of how they function. So the Bible says for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Nothing is hidden. But the, the shape of their sight is by understanding. The Bible says being understood by the things that are made, things that are established. And in case you think there are aspects of God that are far away that we cannot understand, Paul said, even his eternal power and Godhead, those are high-end mysteries that they can be understood in the things that are made. And the reason is so that nobody will have an excuse. That I don't know how it works. That's why uh, I, I, I could not align with it. So, because I, didn't, I don't like fights, naturally I don't. I now congratulated the minister. I reused that example in, um, in Redeemer's University. How that, how many of you did chemistry here? Okay, you didn't do chemistry, raise your hand. Raise it well, raise it well. Okay, so many of you did chemistry, good. I will use your own example. How many of you know what is called a salt bridge? Okay, you have forgotten what a salt bridge is. Raise your hand. Okay, you still remember. Now, in a salt bridge, you have um, a bowl that is saturated with, or a vessel that is saturated with um, a solution. Or with, you have a, a vessel that has a solution that is saturated with ions. Am I right? And then you have one that is less dense as regards the ionic nature. So what you do is that 
this salt bridge is supposed to be like a transport mode it's supposed to once it is established i remember in the ababio that's the name of the plan yes it must touch the two liquids it mainly touches the two liquids there will be a self-induced transportation from the region of high density to low density and the transfer continues only as long as the salt bridge is in place am i right good that salt bridge is believing you are the low density is the high density so when you connect there is a flow of life that is instantly activated if you disconnect from the salt bridge you will have what you have until you don't have again but you will not be able to continue to draw from him god forbid if if i if i wake up one day and say i want to be a traditional african i want to to subscribe to the traditional african religion and then we you come around me and you see a mat and cowries and you say sir I, this exam that is coming help me like some of you want me to pray and i say oh <laughs> say go on go and re what do you call it if somebody feels what do they do say don't even write the exam and say what i see here is 15f <laughs> so go and re-register that's the word you know you'll be heartbroken that's why that day will not come because god loves your heart he doesn't want to break it your heart is one of the reasons why jesus will keep me from the path of error your heart he loves you enough not to mislead you so that's my second layer of security that god you mean that all of these people will, will be misled no he loves you so there are dealings that i undergo that i may not show up as a heretic because of you there are debts that work here so that life can come there are you with me that's the life of a minister the day you stop dying you can no longer give life um so but pastor Della didn't go to chemistry class what did you do and no so what courses did you do in secondary school acts okay so he did government and so but if i bring a rotten egg here and i crack it here will i be able to smell it at the back why eh that fish okay now diffusion also works because there's a medium of transmission air is what we carry it there. so if we crack it here and i know lambda he can he can begin to purge by smelling it what i would do is to create a vacuum here suck out air and as long as a vacuum is created the odor will only be here you can also create vacuums in the spirit too. That only a people in a particular region and that's what god created in goshen was a vacuum technology that only in goshen did you not suffer between goshen and the rest of the people there was a vacuum that reality could not penetrate so they were crying in egypt but they were laughing here and before jesus comes we see many of those technologies replaced there was another vacuum in nyot if you came in you became you began to prophesy if you were outside you were a normal person so if we create a vacuum we just suck out air once there is no medium to transmit the smell the smell will die it can't jump over a vacuum so the air between myself and lamide is what allows the transmission of odor it means there are fragrances of the Christ that a believer will not know if there is a vacuum. That was the judgment of Adam. I will continue to widen the gap between me and you until we no longer be able to sense me. And what Jesus came to do was to die the death that will recreate a bridge. Are you getting my point? So now we can fully sense God. 
but you also have the responsibility to sustain the operation of the the air in between the salt bridge must be in place and it is by believing not by belief but by believing not a one-off but a continuous belief let's look at two verses of scripture the first one is john chapter 1 verse 12 and john chapter 1 verse 12 markets the concept of belief but as many as received him to them gave he the power to become the sons of god even to them can we read together that on his name the emphasis here were the characters of the christ so there's a life event that interprets this it was like the children of israel were in the wilderness and they complained about manna god gave them quails they now complained about quails that the meat was too much and god took away their defenses and then the the, the desert snakes began to invade them and moses rose and went to god and god said see i can't bring healing to them because this event was a mirror of the original they chose against me that's why they grumbled in the day that man's choice against me will be remedied but we need to take what looks like their enemy and hang it on the cross so it must be serpent for serpent just like sin that is buffeting them must be hung on the cross so the bible said he made he that knew no sin to no sin to he had to become sin because like the serpent that beat them caused them pain was hung on the cross the one who hangs on the cross must also attract the appellation sin so that's what jesus became so that they now have to use their will the same will that they used to sin against me they need to use it to look up any man who looks up will live i want to believe that some of them died because it must be a perfect model that just like some people now are still struggling with just looking they think it's too simple it's about people will die how does snake bite find the elimination by looking say kai oh chip jaw give us complex ones so while they are waiting on the anti-snake venom um injection they will die have you heard that verse of scripture that said that um, the, the, the message of the cross is foolishness unto those who are perishing, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. I think it was one of Mamaba, you know that Mamaba Larry's old song? That's song is older than plenty of people here. Because that song came out like 1983. At least you have songs that are older than me. So, uh, but, but the design is that you believe. So, in this place, he's saying that to become a son of God, what you need is to believe on his name. There is an advertised reality that he possesses. And when you acknowledge that reality, you, the gates into the economy of life are opened to you. But if you journey further in John chapter 8, and that's the verse I really want to use. That's in John chapter, sorry, in John chapter 3, verse 16. It's a not common verse. The Bible said, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth the word here is believeth and this is rendered not in present tense like the other one it was rendered in present continued tense in the original translation 
it is not rendered believed in it is belief upon it means to cast your life on it it's like the the lord now becomes to you a platform for permanent functionality you will not only draw your reality from him the day you said i believe in you i believe in you and the pastor says now you are saved you will need to journey and keep believing the way you handle him the way you acknowledge him as lord and as a byproduct he gave you salvage saving reality you will need to keep your hand on him you will wake up believing the last thing you will do with your conscious existence before you go to bed is that you will believe when you are challenged you will believe when you are fine you will believe when you have money you believe when you don't have money you believe when you know what to do you believe when you are confused you will believe you will need to draw every strand of your existence from him it is in that mode that you will not perish and come into the full experience of the life that he came to market to you it's life that you will still have eternal life but it's going to be gifted an everlasting dimension are you with me it's the same life but now it's it's not just going to be eternal the word eternal for life is supposed to depict that it comes from a person the god kind are you with me it's not a play of words they have meanings when we use the word eternal it's is a is is the definition of one that is timeless and it's only god that attracts that so what makes it the god kind of life is that is eternal life or life eternal when we bring the everlasting dimension to it it has to do with the unending experience of that kind of life so people believe that it cannot be cut off it can because if you stop believing the economy of that life will cut off you won't get any realities from it but it can be the, the realities can be never ending if what you do is believe it are you with me so this life has requirements for expression and the first one is the consciousness that it came to you through Jesus Christ our Lord so continuous subscription to his Lordship will sustain the flow of life it's like in a tap if you keep the tap open water will keep running when you lock the tap water will stop running it does not mean that there's no water in the tank are you getting me if you turn off the switch what happens at the back end is that the circuitry is broken when you turn on the switch you complete the circuit but whether you turn it on or turn it off has nothing to do with power supply the touch of the switch has only to do with your ability to maximize what already exists are you with me how many of you have made a decision by the holy spirit before you were going to do something and you asked him to tell you what to do and you did it and it worked anybody good how many of you have made a decision by yourself before okay now this is you made by yourself was it before you got saved or not before oh so since you have been saved you make all your decisions by the holy ghost how did you choose your cloth this cloth you are wearing okay told you to wear this thing did you consciously ask him or something told you something okay one of the ways to master his voice is to talk to him much mm. it's one of the cheat codes to be able to decipher his voice you ask him many questions questions that your friends will call stupid jesus lord i have three shoes 
which one should I wear? And your friend will say, Oh, oh, Bernie. You can choose. No, no. It's because if you don't train yourself with mastering his voice with simple things, when 10 brothers come, you'll be confused. But if you have learned how to decipher with shoes, anyone you wear, nothing bad will happen. But you have mastered his voice with shoes. When 10 brothers come, you won't say you are going to pray. You are like Daniel. Who doesn't need to know what is written on the wall by prayer? He has arrived the gift. And so he says, Bro John, I know your name is John, but and you can even help them. The way I'm seeing you like this, the name of your wife is Titi. So find Titi. You know, that's if that's even a higher. You are not just using discernment, your word of knowledge capacity is high. Say you are in 400 level. Don't, don't look for Titi now. Titi will meet you in Katsina, in youth service. You see that kind of thing? <laughs> so, the guy is just waiting to get to Katsina. Say, ah, it's Katsina. So he has to package himself well because he will meet Titi there. You have served me. We are not sending you to Katsina because this Titi and Katsina team. She has to take my team back. She has to take it back. Okay. Ah, but when are you going for service? Okay, this next one. If it is Katsina, know that. Okay. Let, let's. Let him. But that's what I'm saying. You have to ask him questions. Lord, I have three options of food. What, which one should I eat? It looks stupid. But you have to learn from things that have no consequence. So that you can master his voice for main things. And these things I'm saying, everyone here, even if you got saved yesterday, because he answers more than he speaks to you directly, your ability to know his voice will come by many answers and not many direct speech, speeches. So you will need to initiate many questions. Lord, I just read this thing. What does it mean? There's a traditional meaning to every scripture. But some, some of those traditional me meanings are long or age-long errors that have come to the body of Christ. Lord, teach me. The best school to be in if your desire is to learn scriptures is the Holy Ghost. He wrote it. Alright, so let's go back to life. So, let's look at another portion of scripture. Acts 16.31 It's still emphasizing the second protocol for the operations of life. First is lordship. This was a byproduct of a question that they sent that a, a legionnaire asked the apostles in the day they were captured and the chains broke what shall i do to be saved and paul told him the protocol is simple they said they said so it was a chorus answer believe on the lord jesus christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. I was trying to do a study why they emphasized on the Lord Jesus Christ. Why didn't they say, believe on Jesus? That should suffice. And then I found out that when their chains broke, the man began to interact with them as lords. Are you with me? Let's go to the previous verses. No, no. Go to like 27. Okay, let's leave it at here. And they brought them out and said, Sars. The word Sars there is translated Lord. If we didn't bring chainsaw, and the simplicity of worship, the simplicity of prayer broke chains. Ah, you must not call me my name. 
the man saw a reality that they came marketing and was willing to hallow them into the reality sars what shall i do they saw it as an opportunity to divert him to the one who is truly lord church one of the things that can keep a man progressively outside the will of god is that you live a life um how do i put it now is that your life is lived as an end if something good happens it ends with you you see your own profit in everything that you do if you live like that the opposite is to live seeing your life as a means if i do something well it's supposed to be to the end that jesus takes the glory and well let me put a caveat here it's not every good thing that you do that gives him glory if he was not factored to be glorified it let me not use what we give me problem have you watched films before that one wicked uncle killed somebody and then they now went to nigerian film they now went to an SMO and the SMO cast a spell and then the wicked uncle died how do they end the movie to god be the glory may god give you understanding the one that was celebrated there was the SMO that Kai! in your body they call them what do they call those gods they call them alalele uh, our forebearers the 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 ones who own the land they were the ones that struck the wicked man but they say to god be the glory the question is which god to god be the glory for the perfection of a film that advertised the strength of wicked spirits how does god get glory we need to study what glorifies god because god does not take glory in every good thing sailor i've said so many things so. if his glory was not factored into it then he will he does you see god is not he doesn't have cravings you and your friend could carry a a a, a, a drum of oil into a room and when you walk out they now come and say who did this your friend say ah I don't even know where strength came from but i did it our friends can still glory god does not so he's not interested in drawing glory from what he did not do are you with me he must be factored into it so they believe the the the, the apostles too were not going to get glory for big for cutting chains we are not a lord and anyway when it comes to this saving thing there is only one name given under heaven and that name has a file attachment extension to it it's not just jesus it's the lord jesus so believe on the lordship of the christ and when you believe on his lordship one of the byproducts of that subscription is that you are saved and it will affect you alone it will affect everybody if that is an entrance protocol i want to reiterate that you must sustain it the average believer is a selective believer he believes to enter but he begins to use his mind to journey i want you to bring it to little little things i was sharing a meeting how do you think i go from meeting to meeting and then i'm preaching varying subjects and it looks as if the well is unending. I study, but it's not study. It cannot be study. Many times the subjects are so divergent. And you need to meet up. And I still need to have my own meditation time in the word. I do ministry believing. You called me. I said yes I believed you as the caller I believed you as the sender I will also believe you as the doer it takes pressure out of you because faithful is he 
who also will do it I'm only a vessel many times I prepare sermons I stand and then he says well I took you through that route so that um, you will learn a few more things now we stream from heaven I might take a worship song what I'm looking for I learned that from Apostle Gideon Uduma is one entrance scripture once I find that correct entrance scripture you have your three hours I need to be line upon line precept upon precept not breaking sweat after that those meetings I'm still fresh because I was only streaming you keep believing why do I think that in the midst of all kinds of strange utterances that have defined the body of Christ I will not misrepresent Jesus I believe him me I was not even born eloquent I don't mean I was born like my spiritual father Papa literally stammered but when you see him he's, he's a master communicator that's what believing can do if you heard his story he said when he first started like that he will pray long pray long in tongues so it will be flowing I'm sure if you wake him up now I'm not he still has a good prayer life but if you wake him up now you see the believing has weakened the, the infirmity that it can no longer manifest The life wants to be visible. But it thrives on your sustained subscription to the Lordship of Jesus. That's what keeps your operations or your expressions consistent and believing. Somebody says, I went here, this thing happened, but after two weeks, no. It, maybe you took your feet off a pedal. If you know how to drive, you don't need to press your brakes to stop the car. Just lift your, take your leg off the accelerator. The car will by itself stop. Inertia will catch up with it. Uniform motion will become reducing motion and then earth will act on it and it will stop. You have to keep believing. If you heard an utterance in the beginning to come into the fellowship of the life, it means that your Holy Spirit is designed to be the spirit of your believing what it does is that it sustains the communications that help you sustain your handle on the Christ that expression as the spirit of our believing is drawn from one of his major realities as the spirit of revelation in the beginning he showed you a Lord and a Savior but he wants to show you many things that Daniel in the day you feel isolated your heart begins to long for a friend he comes and he introduces Jesus to you as a friend and when you acknowledge and lay hold on him as a Lord friend are you with me it's not like your friend friend it's your Lord friend the day you have a need what you need is a supplier or a provider he comes and introduces Jesus to you as a Lord provider it means it will govern your cravings. It will give you only what he has determined to give you. In the day, what you need is exhortation. You know the song. They don't even sing those songs again. Do they still sing it? But the song is fading. Because people are not sincere again. We have we have positive positive spoken ourselves away from needing God. I'm sure somebody will soon come. Ori mi waloke e mi ti di de. There will be songs like that now. Ati familo was okay. Moti gadu aye lo. That's the arrogance that we bring to songs that came from genuine supplicants. Eh. Oh go aye me o ti oja de and you like this <laughs> uh, we are not sincere we are not sincere that if amila was okay i don't even know how to do the last one because you see help you see need help you see
doesn't need help. This spirit doesn't help our arrogance. He helps our infirmity. It means even in your saved state, you were, you were saved and you were built with infirmity so that the spirit will find a space. Why pray? No, me, I don't do why pray. If God helps you, have you ever seen that? Um, um, Papa Idaosa's, um, I think it's a TikTok thing where he claimed that for him, one of the greatest prayers in the world is to say, What God help me, it's humbling to ask for help, but God resists the proud. I know it's easy to boast. If you bring a naked woman, nothing will happen to you. Life will show you that even dressed women make men fall. <laughs> naked, naked. Everybody I knew, I everybody who made that statement that I know, we have heard the narrative of their fall. Everybody. So if you are making it now, it means it's just time. And sometimes God doesn't leave those, those people. He allows them to run on their strength. They will now sing, take over now. <laughs> when they get to an, the end of themselves, ah, am I like this? Yes, yes. So we don't make those statements because we have not made up our mind. But we know that the best of us is helped. I say it everywhere. When I finished in the remarks, they told me to come for altar call. One guy ran and grabbed my two legs. Ah, he said, You come to Jesus, you came to me. So, when I was walking out, I whispered to those around me, I said, We are not strong men. I said, That see, we are not strong men, we are just helped men. And so, I ask every day, Help me believe in you. That was a cry of that, that young boy's father. Lord, I believe. Help my own belief. I may have believed enough to, to make you my Lord. But there are things that are coming around my life that will not make the life functional. And those are the areas of unbelief. Help my own belief. Come to my aid. You want to ask the Lord in a few minutes then we go a little bit deeper you want to ask him to help your own belief we want to ask him to help our own belief there may be areas of struggle that you are currently grappling with and it may actually be traceable to the fact that you have not believed him into those places His capacity goes beyond saving. He can also keep from falling. But a man will need to believe him in sustained fashion. We have three minutes to pray. I want you to ask for help to touch enough in three minutes. And that he helps to sustain your hand to unbelieving in him. speaking Christians also act cerebral because they don't believe that he can think them through there are many errors that we fall into the errors of using methods that are not captured in him and they are because we don't believe that his processes can win I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. I believe in you. And I will continue to believe as long as your spirit will help me. Oh, 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 oh. Shama mama bo 
Sembre sole la tu camomete Amabo se bali Pela babu Asom tayo Faka babo bebe Kombe se se mama mot Prate ne skeba baba beba sabali Oh, Babo Baba, Santa Bamalia, Bale, 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 Jesus, Son of God, we believe in you. Yes, we believe in you. Ekamo Sasa Sana de Barada Baba. Son of God, we believe. Ale mosaka baba baba skapa ratali. Oh, you are Jesus, the Son of God. Tabre se fiki balata. Amali kobo se keme matele kisa baratala. Ai papebe. unto full com conformity unto the image of Jesus and it will end that way I believe that the story of my fall will not be told because that the one that you saved you will also keep 
I believe that you will aid my subscription to your Lordship and you will strengthen my belief upon you I believe I believe that this darkness will give way to light I believe that that which was finished in the spirit that has not been perfected in the physical will be perfected I believe I believe that my brothers and sisters co-ministers will stand in truth I believe I believe that that which wants to smuggle corruption into us will not see the light of day because the one that you saved you will fight for I believe <laughs> ah kamame to seli kibata pome kaben besketuate avino ketos kambre diate kumata ale pampe kiasita for no weapon that is fashioned against us shall prosper yes we will not be caught in ourselves we will not be caught in ourselves whispering spirits will not gain superiority over us we will resist successfully we shall be called the company of the aligned the generation of the aligned the soul will not get the better part of us i forbid that any one of us misses his place in god i believe you can keep that's my confidence in this secret i make it known in the open let darkness know that none of us will err permanently all of us will find the truth we will love it and we will champion it across the nations i believe we believe in you yes we believe in you thank you lord jesus amen okay let's unveil further what we have done is to lay the foundation of the reality of possessed life on two foundation stones the first stone is the sustained acknowledgement and subscription to the lordship of jesus and the second stone which is a look-alike stone is the stone of believing if you believed to come in you must continue to believe to benefit from the life amen all right so let's look at let's begin to look at light because jesus said that he that follows me shall not work in darkness but he will possess what jesus called the light of life that's the light that is sourced in life I want us to continue by looking at um, the, um, looking into the heart of God rather to find out why this body has become essential for this moment and to do this we will need to peep into an Old Testament prophecy what goes on in the heart of God that provokes him to begin to speak forth existence by light? Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 and 2. That's where the burden came from. Why is light necessary? Why is there an urgent need to follow unto the unbundling of the life unto light? The Bible says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. I don't have time to go to Genesis. I would have wanted to, to walk this thing from Genesis, especially the last part, the rising of the glory of God. Arise, shine, and the reason is because you are no light is no longer scarce your light and because the light comes out of life it means just like you were allocated life you were also allocated light in life 
Are you with me? So your light is come. The one that has your name on it. The one that advertises what the Holy Spirit can do. Not through all of us. But through you. In the day that you begin to shine. Is come. And the glory. It means there is an attendant event. When your light comes. The glory of God also rises upon you. It means within the distribution of this light is the advertisement of the glory of, of the person of God and that's what we call glory. If you arise and you are not shining, people will not see God. They can see you. And the Lord was saying to me that there are many who have arisen who think they are shining but his men we see is not God because they are not functioning in allocated light let me bring you into this if Isaac stand let our online we will see Isaac let me see Isaac you know Isaac is my giant that's why he's in protocols he serves many purposes I know he cannot fight but his size is if he looks at you has he told you, you are not seeing Papa? Has he told you that before? You don't even need to shout it. You know if you try. There are many stories you can tell. Abi? He says, yes, sir. <laughs> so, that's why when they were populating them, I didn't choose him, but Jesus chose him and put him there. May God give you understanding that this size is not for nothing. Okay. Let's assume that Isaac was a first man. Have you thought about it before? Okay. So he walks into the market and he sees somebody trying to harass somebody. And Isaac says, my friend, stop there. When the person looks at him, the first thing that will scare the person is his size. Right? And sometimes if the thief or the one who is harassing is not a master in that trade, Isaac could get away with it. But may your jungle not mature in daytime. <laughs> there are doubts that if you say, stop that, you will say, whose father is talking? So, it means he has gone beyond the man who spoke. <laughs> He's trying to check what strength is in the ancestry that is giving you that you can be a military man, but if you go to the market with plain clothes, like if you are wearing Arsenal jersey, <laughs> no, you know the, the jersey is bright and there's a gun on it. <laughs> Abi now, is it not gunners? Yes. So, you now say stop there. You will think that the gun can win premiership. May, may, may God help your heart. Uh, so, the person will be shocked, but the person can still deal with you. And it will be because you wore a senior jersey. You try to function in a dimension of glory that cannot scare it out. But Isaac, if you wear a singlet, a camouflage singlet, and you show up like this, say, if you move, I move you. Sit down, my dear. The person will assume that you are a military man and the person will take dressing. Because if you beat him up in that mode and he's a military man, it's not only the person that beat him that will suffer. That market is in trouble. So you will take dressing. Are you with me? Now, it's the same man but he's functioning in a glory that cannot fight it out. He only needs to be brought into the exchange of garments the camo is the one that is working now it's not the size i remember one day in abuja i was trying to get to the airport i was my son in the army i know it's, it's i think it's, it's just a little bit taller than i am a little or maybe about the same size but he carries guns so he has muscles i'm still trying to i think i'm just lazy so we now got somewhere we picked somebody on the road somebody we just who just asked for help 
and we dropped that person but it was at a park only for us to know that whether you pick a passenger or you drop a passenger at that park you must pay so the guy started harassing our driver every time he wanted to move i tapped him because a man of god so i tapped him tapped him. after a while i said papa ewo, ewo. so he came down he just spoke a little and flashed his id card the scene calmed down because if you flash a military id card it's not one person you are fighting they can empty that pack in a few minutes one truck will just come and sometimes it's not arrest may god give you understanding <laughs> sometimes what is a lot of barriers that will happen because why should you even harass a military man why so everybody calmed down we now found out that the tout was even a yoruba person our one can ah okay so we now gave them something and drove on say ah and you know say me me only for you know i said no no word no word we can do crusade tomorrow these guys can come to crusade too you know if you come in your light you will also need to defend your position with your glory if you come in his light the one that was transmitted by him what it will give off is the advertisement of your source arise shine that for thy light is come and the glory of the lord the source of your light is risen upon you next verse that's my emphasis for behold the darkness and many times when we quote this verse of scripture we say behold darkness the Bible was specific. It was darkness that could be defined. The darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness. It means this the darkness has the capacity for intensification. The people, the earth will function by a civilization, not just a reality. So it's called the darkness. And the strength of that civilization will exert itself on the people so if you want to know what is ruling in our space look at the people that's where civil it's upon people that civilizations intensify their strength so that by the activity upon men witness can be born into the shape of what is ahead I hope I'll get there. I, will have, I, will, I, will, I have a few lines on darkness. But, somebody say but. A but is a turning point. It's a switch in reality. And it's a radical switch in reality. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. And his glory shall be seen upon thee let's peep into verse 3 to see what will happen and gentiles shall come to thy light which light are we talking about the light that came the one that is sourced in him but is allocated to you and kings to the brightness of thy rise so the lord began to speak to me and that's the burden for this series the lord said to me he was beating human beings because his emphasis was that it happens in a house of god must not make it legitimate in the house of god this is our location called a church building that's a building that plays host to the church does not accept everything we have a list of contrabands. My son, Pastor Victor, was asking me, Sir, you know, on this dressing issue, what should you really do? I said, Victor, the kingdom does not have a list of what to wear. It rather has a metric system of how to wear modesty. That word is an English word. So it means the dictionary is strong enough to judge a modest person. 
I'm helping those who come to me and say, what is the meaning of discernment? And so I say, find a dictionary. Or go to Google. <laughs> because Google will just will give you the name, give you synonyms. How can I be preaching to you and become your English teacher again? Somebody say, how can I be strong in spirit? What have I been using my last 11 years to teach? Ah. How can you be strong in spirit? Pick a sermon now. Abi. I don't like you asking me questions that I have elaborated on in um, sermons. Somebody now will now come and say, how do we receive the life? So have you listened to my sermon? Says I've listened to it. Which one? Or oh, what sermons? I saw one. Is that one you have listened to? I have other sermons. I don't know. So go and pick the sermons. Go on my telegram page. Say which one should I listen to? See, you don't have a problem. One in Waku, number one, control song. Abi, I have a, a very small list of people I listen to. I'm very small. Shall we type first name? Sometimes I don't. Some there are sermons that Papa has preached and gone. That I can't remember the top, but I need them so I can say. Arome Osai supernatural. That's how I look for sermons. Now find it. Commanding, maybe we can be commanding the supernatural, manifesting supernatural, and I will sit down to listen. I do like 80 gig every 12 days to listen. Apart from my study, because many of the things I'm coming to teach are things that other people have taught. And no scripture is of private interpretation. I'm not trying to sound different. I just want to be an extension of what God has started. So I need to listen to them. For many reasons, I won't tell you all the people that I listen to. But in Africa, they are just four. Except when I want to draw energy from our fathers. And there's somebody I draw energy from. Yes, energy, sharp instructions. I just need to listen to him. Not my spiritual father. I just need to listen to him. Sharp like that. There are two like that. One is like this. One is like this. May God give you understanding. Uh, one is in Boko. One is in Ota. Sharp instructions. Uh, that will reset my head instantly. And then I move. But largely for doctrine. I do only four, 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 four. Yes, about four. Constant. But I have plenty of their messages. I listen to it. I don't copy what they are saying. I prepare my sermons and then for my private life instructions. Many have a reason for the kingdom with no effect because they didn't show up with this requisite reality. They have life, but it has not become light. And it has to do with the absence of following. You see, the light of a man can travel. But when that man gets to the end of his life, he will find out that he functioned by human light. There are many things that sunlight can do. It can dry cloth. It can even dry yam. Elubo. Abi. Good. There are many things it can do. It can help plants to photosynthesize. It can deliver to you vitamin D. But it cannot deliver you from oppression. So you will need light that is stronger than the sun. If you come into the tabernacle, you find out that the more you enter into the tabernacle, the more you are veiled from sunlight. So in the outer court, they use sunlight. When you come into the, the holy place, where the angels, where the, sorry, 
the priests are the curtain is still thin there's still some little bit of sunlight that comes in to further illuminate them they are now gifted a lamp that's what you refer to as the menorah is that that lamp with seven candle sticks and with oil supplied when you get into the holy of holies the curtain is so dark that the sun cannot penetrate so you you will be confused in the holies of holies until god comes because the only thing that lights the holies of holies is the is the shekinah that's the light that comes when god arrives what it means is that public perspective can still instruct if you are in the outer court or even in the holy place where ministry is done it means that a minister who seeks accuracy must go from the company of other ministers and step into the holies of holies where is the lord and i the perspectives that come there cannot be heard by men in the holy place they will understand it so just like your encounters are isolated your life will also be isolated if you become a man of the secret place who was elijah's friend who the deeper you go the company will reduce only those who go there will be your friends because to ba debe o ni bo nkan tan so nbe tan ba de wa ro yin efu e ko ni yi e because that place is not just a place of revelation it's also a place of understanding the second reason why god seemingly is obsessed with the manifestation of the light of life is in verse 2 darkness has covered the earth there was a prophecy in isaiah there is a fulfillment in our day and the effect of the darkness is upon the people it affects how they think it affects how they talk it affects what they do it affects how they appear a people shout freedom but their shackles are visible to observers I'm free, I'm free. But we can see that you are not moving well. It's like the screams of a door. Is the door free? The door is a moving prisoner. It is locked into space by hinges. They are almost invisible because the door is big. So every time you swing the door, the door says to itself, I'm mobile. But when you look at the ground, after a while, especially if your door is close to the tile, you see a mark that shows that the door doesn't journey beyond that level a man's life can be gifted motion but still be like the motion of a pendulum a pendulum moves only on an axis he swings high and he says i'm free he goes up again he says i'm free but you see we can sketch his movements over time that's the way the life of the average believer is He's a slave of too many things, but he thinks I'm free. My question is, when will you truly desire freedom? Meanwhile, the token of freedom is in every man. Because in the day that darkness invades, you do not need to shout. In the day that darkness invades, you do not need to cry. The only answer that dispels darkness is light and in the day he gave you life he already had light for in him was life and that life became the light of men you have light darkness is designed to take on many shapes i began to ask myself so lord what is darkness the lord said to me that for a first definition darkness is his absence once you take away god from an environment 
his absence occasions instantly another reality can i talk to you it is possible for an individual to function in light but still have aspects of their life that is that are not in light it's like you're in a room and if you're like me you know the man of the house is the one that pays nepal bill our meter is prepared so you can't cheat nepal what you use is um, what they deduct so when i walk around the house sometimes i'm saying if the lights are not being used you switch them off especially don't put a microwave on without use don't put an eye on hmm. you need to watch what happens to your meter when your iron is on it's like it's trying to compete with with hosting boats and for those of you who cook with um hot plate or hot iron you know there's, there's also hot iron that one is just raw iron you need to visit your meter you will have sense this one that you put still on fire and then it burns no you will have many more sorrows because you will pay the bill very soon so i go around like that it means that there could be light in the living room and no light in the room and the absence of light in the room does not mean that there's no light in the house because there is light in the living room there is the possibility of walking without banging your leg but you can move from the living room to the room and while you are trying to make movements to the switch you can have a scar because the security that light brings in the living room does not affect a room so when you extract god and it's possible according to scriptures to exclude god from your knowledge i can involve god in my my work with god in my in prayers let me put it that way and i can exclude him from my relationship lord what happens here please don't talk to me i know what to do you can take god from your finances and you can even localize him in your finances that he only manages debts he doesn't manage your increase the day you have plenty of money he must not tell you how to spend it but in the day that you are owing he must bail you out remember i said in the beginning he doesn't forcefully rule any man his spirit shall no longer strive he stays in allocated regions The psalmist was praying let me help me find that reference he was praying and his cry to god was that the lord shall lighten my darkness now that prayer was revelatory it meant that the psalmist possessed a dimension of light but he was asking god thank you sir okay for thou you see this one okay let's use this one for thou art my lamp O Lord uh -huh, the psalmist, thank you you are a good man for thou will light my candle it means he understood by revelation that he had a facility upon which his light was designed to be hoisted so that people can see it the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness i'm a lighted man but there's still an area of darkness because the strong also bleed are you with me thank god for what people do on stage many people go to bed still asking god when will you come to when will you help me a day came in ministry when we no longer tell ourselves the truth when prayerless men encourage people to pray hmm? so people can only pray in a crowd if you isolate them in a the house you won't hear tongues once for one week if a man shows up like that it means that you see even this prayer reality is not personal he will need to cry out and light bring light 
to my darkness i still have one i know when i said that many people's hearts went to people battling with habits and i've shared with you that i tell people when they come to me sir i want to stop this habit to affect ministry i'll say ah if it's about ministry you have not found a good reason people have found cheat codes to be struggling and ministering somebody may be listening and saying ah reverend you don't ah it's because god has hidden many people I mean he did their faults I'm not far from the top I hear things not because I gossip but the things get to my table and I know that there are many who are flying with broken wings they have just found a way to angulate themselves so that the wind carries them and that's why they are still flying if God withdraws the wind you will see wings drop people have found ways to be wicked found ways in established iniquity and are still doing miracles they still come on stage and say if you pray something will dry up they don't have an experience so i tell them doing ministry is not strong enough a motivation to live your sinful ways people sin and do ministry minister came one time and said that he and his wife committed fornication the wife is ministering somewhere he's also ministering even the one he married in fornication he's also prophesying <laughs> ways their ways if god stops speaking the realm of the spirit is filled with speaking spirits and all spirits have an advantage of knowledge over men so if what you want to know is things the things of men there will be no end to the speakings of men even when they are men in iniquity your love for jesus should be enough a reason to want to stop hurting him are you with me so if there is still an area of darkness find a good reason to say lord help me here what is darkness so that we pray i want to stop here darkness is the absence of god Organization that thrives by hiddenness and I, I checked the dictionary to find out that that word exists hiddenness a civilization that thrives by concealment what is in darkness in darkness we find a yes the word civilization is what I can use a world view built by many systems that is void of God it can be good I mean pleasurable but what makes it dark is that God is not there first John chapter 1 verse 5 gives me um, a background for this definition this then is the message which we heard of him and declare unto you that can we read together god is light that's the definition of light god god is light and in him is no darkness at all so the absence of god is darkness also anything that is not in god is darkness because in him there is no darkness that the real leader is the is the is the man that wakes up on sunday morning and goes to church you see my 
I don't want, I don't have enemies. I can't have. I know the realm of my wrestling. But I have too many heartbreaks. We find it so hard for God to speak from the Bible. But he speaks from things. Every, there's God's voice in everything in our day. The only place God's voice is not is in scriptures. Everything we see on the road, God, say God, 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 Bible, Niam. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. In our days, the world is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. We no longer see in his light. We see in the light of the world. Because my scripture says with thee, O Lord, at the fountains of life, and in that, for in thy light shall we see light. There is a light that is being streamed from the world system. And Jesus said, if your light, if what illuminates you, be darkness, because darkness can illuminate. It can give direction. It can inspire. Jesus said, so great. If what you call source of revelation is darkness, it means your darkness will be so great. So we are in the seasons of cross darkness. These are my burdens. I love peace. I, I'm a man of peace. I'm a preacher of love. I'm serious. I'm a preacher of love. The kingdom of God is not in eating and drinking. I preach the kingdom. It is in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, right? There are three things that remain. What are they? Faith, hope, and love. What's the greatest? That's the kingdom. That's the kingdom. It's love. But the world has become a big source of inspiration. A civilization that is void of God. For the believer, notice if it's the world that inspires you, what you are drawing inspiration from is darkness. Because if it is not in God, it is darkness. If God is not in it, it is darkness. That's that's from a verse of scripture. First John chapter 1, verse 5. Not Tolu says, but the Bible says. Darkness is a governing system with principles and intentions that do not advance the cause of God. Principles and intentions. Not first actions. Why do you live the way you live? That's a principle. Why do you greet everybody and bow your head? It looks good because nobody greets anybody now. Abby. Nobody greets anybody. Am I right? And I've said so a few months ago that we need to be that house of light. It's not wrong to greet people. People even come to my space and somebody says, please, what's the difference between... That's my WhatsApp. Please, what's the difference between God and Satan? And I'm saying, I am not chat GPT. I'm a human being. There should be courtesy. Yes. It's like you don't even think you should say, hello, answer my question, guy, and go away. So I said, ministers are, don't function by AI. Does artificial intelligence have emotions? Not yet, but very soon. Maybe we'll learn when they come. And he says, you have not said good morning. <laughs> then you will now take rest. After you say, sorry, good morning. Because you did not greet me, I will not answer your question. Or I will give you a wrong answer.
so you show up greeting it's still not light until we know what is motivating your greeting you show up honoring everybody why do you honor everybody we need to start asking those questions because there are dark principles that are not anti-honor it may be manipulative you must have one funny adage one equity equity with a knee call the the end is not honor when a man okay you don't understand it means when a, a a madman comes you know give him an appellation that is the husband man so that he's excited because ah husband husband he will say pass it means that the end is not value the end is your own assets that's selfish it's still dark wisdom it's dark wisdom so what are the principles that we live by and brethren these principles also work in ministry i can talk about you so much and after a while you say who's that guy who is always talking about me and what i want is i don't honor you what i just want is access to you they are dark things i can run your quotations I can even send you gifts every birthday and it's, it's not honor it's space i'm looking for the gift of a man make it way for him manipulation why do you help the sister every day is it so that one day she can become your helpmate Yes, because it's help and help. Why do you do good to somebody that is greater than you? Because you feel if I if he wants to drink water and I and I buy pure water every time I buy pure water, one day he will buy me a tanker. Because we give at his level. Principles, dark ones. So, darkness also has principles. And unfortunately many sons of light are functioning by dark principles and they think that they can advance the kingdom of God you see the kingdom of God doesn't just go on surface the Bible says this God that we serve is a God of knowledge and by him actions are not only known they are weighed motives are very very important to God let's go home just one more definition I'll try to finish on Sunday. Then after IEC, the Sunday after IEC, that's May 29. God willing, we'll have um, our special Holy Ghost service for for May, and then um, the Tuesday after, that's May 30th, we we'll start a new series. We wrestle not. So that's that's the lineup, and I hope that Jesus will leave it that way what is in darkness three is an active capacity to stand in the way of light this third layer of manifestation of darkness unto which god is staring us to fight is that when darkness matures it builds barriers against the penetration of light huh? there are many examples i'll have given but my examples have to be very have to be laboratory these days there are so many things i've taught that people didn't think anybody would touch so i i'm 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 being watched so be praying for me be praying for me. jesus has assured me that everything is fine but i'm just being careful just be careful on one side i'm being careful because i don't want to be misunderstood but the other side i'm bothered that in trying not to be misunderstood i may not be teaching like i'm supposed to be teaching and i think that fear of being misunderstood or the 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 structures of misunderstanding that have been built 
are also a manifestation of darkness trying to weaken my witness that's what i see but it won't be long darkness has the capacity to hinder light it can be it can create systems of advantage that when god brings his own ideas a man can say why do we need to change what we're doing how many ministers here have listened to the sermons for the ministers conference for me lord i want to encourage that they listen to them the sermon not so and then the sermon the the part of a revivalist there were many things that didn't look like not so or part of a revivalist inside them but i want to recommend the sermons they are on our platforms right yes they are on my own they are also on awcn so i think you if you listen to them you'll be able to score yourself you not need anybody to critique what you are doing and i didn't fight inside it so it's clear was we taking jesus and going into six layers of his ministry to find out how to align your own one of them has to do with process remember this if you default on any of those layers you will soon be defaulting on all the other layers process i shared about how we started filling this hall that we used to sit at a time around that basin just where you are there and so we had a leaders meeting lambda was already pastor lambda was already in leadership that time and um, one of us said let's print flyers what hindered us from printing flyers was that we don't have money let's be doing flyers Shall we used to have testimonies yes even though people don't like giving let's put testimonies behind so that people know that god is doing something here and they can come because that's a way and that way is not wrong in process what i thought was god has idiosyncratic processes that he communicates to people you can't borrow ideas because you went to a minister's conference borrowed ideas may truncate your flow you will need to ask jesus what do you want us to do so say let's bring flyers let's do this let's do that and i said okay me i'll go and pray the lord said every friday be coming to pray here so i came to pray i'll pray i'll pray jesus will go until one day he said tomorrow you've heard the story before borrow chairs so we borrow chairs until the last one that we used to you know to just we just placed against the wall because he had three legs and the following sunday the whole chairs were filled because when i arranged this place myself mopped the chairs he said now lay hands on every chair not only prophesying but calling names some of those names didn't come that time some of them just came now but it's a guarantee that as long as there are chairs there will be names to fill them so we went from about 42 to 93 in one night well you may not appreciate it except you analyze that what we did was that we doubled our membership in one day so it means if we were two thousand we went to four thousand so that looks big but i'm saying we doubled our membership in one night process how do we increase our titan offering because now we're having needs we can't meet don't collect offerings at the end of service have you noticed that they come very early so some of you can't give offerings because those who come late largely dishonor me so don't collect the offering of dishonor but lord they come late they won't be it means there won't be much money he kept quiet what it meant was i finished speaking sorry sir we obey you he went up because we can decide let's let's run another catchment 
so let's create a box we'll, we'll not even put it here we we'll put it in front of mommy's house there so that in case they sit outside we can still catch them or we tie a rope after service to say you must drop something I don't know if the choir has broken that rule, but if I find out they have broken that rule, I will hold you by the neck. One day, sunshine was around that time. They said we wanted to do a meeting. I think only apostolic invasion and something about something. I don't know what's in the choir at that time. Say let's sew choir clothes. Who was around that time? Okay. So I think they had gone to the person. Was was he Ankara? Yes. They had bought the Ankara. Me, I just walked around and I heard one of the leaders harassing somebody that see, we're about to give you clothes and you have not paid. The person said, I'll pay. Then Jesus reminded me that he told me that there must be no levy in this house. People can't, this is what the way he said, people can't be struggling to give or pay school fees and come to their father's house and be ashamed because they can't give. So I told them, Tell about the gay, head <laughs> about I hope you have not caught it. Say, but the person may not collect take it. I say, whatever monies need to be added so that the person can take it back. Because nobody will be under pressure to give any money here. You will go to fellowships, you have churches. When your church is building, don't they levy people? They give you envelopes, they open a ledger. Ah. Is it a lie? I know campus fellowships that they don't give one k per semester they can give 15 20 k you say ha am i lying when we were in school i knew one campus fellowship because Osho do me the pastor just collected their phones that time and removed the sim and gave them the phones back <laughs> that the, the day they paid the levy we met at mobile if you know me now we met at mobile that's like our city center the pastor told them to kneel down so they knelt down at mobile because they had not paid levy and uh, you know you know i'm this kind of person you can see on the road we shake hands and we go away some presidents are more hollow than me is it like When he's coming on stage, somebody comes, brings his Bible, arranges it. Sometimes the guy will first bring out his handkerchief and clean the place. Because August's hand must not touch dirt. And then the guy will now come. Some even have stuff, some don't have at all. And then when he finishes, he consciously leaves his load and walks away. And then another protocol guy comes. And carries it at what age but there were rules I had from Jesus thou shall not thou shall not process what darkness does is that it administers instructions that work so that in the day Jesus comes to say this is how your reason for not going with his light will be that what you have already works i've told you how this keyboard came somebody daniel was pressing keyboard one tuesday and the people used to borrow his keyboard came in the middle of the service to carry the keyboard <laughs> dele 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 was playing drum no keyboard used to be was he here so Dele was playing here and the same people who owned keyboard or drum said we should pack the drum I, I think somebody was maybe Lamde was trying to appeal the end of the service I said ah, ah, ah. let's go back to primitive days it was foundation laying I went to do and that the honest I was trusting God for for honorarium because I didn't have money they now gave me envelope with one paper inside. Ah! Okay, well, check the leisure. Only for me to open it. And I saw that was the receipt of this keyboard. He hears. 
Lambda, you know how we bought generators, how we how we bought um sound systems, no levy. You also know the days that we used to suffer drum. They'll give you drum, they'll carry the kick. Is it your teeth you used to be beating it? Toby was a drummer at that time. They now found out that Toby, because Toby is like Toby is a professional drummer. He has stick and kick, so they'll carry snare drum. They will leave box amp and take the cable away, or leave the the cable of the generator and take the generator away, or remove something in the generator. But we survived. Were you there our first worship night in Adenike? That was the first day I did impartation in this meeting in AWC. We didn't have light. We now look for two rechargeable lamps. I think lamp they owned one, Toba owned, owned one. We now put it at the back. Why is that our brother self? Is he still around? He has left town. Is he still alive? No, because I heard a story about him. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think last year that I heard that maybe he passed on. He used to have a cafe around. So he now brought those big amps. He brought one upstairs. He now passed cable from his gen into our own building so that we could do. In tears, I said to them that day, I said, if you leave now, it means you'll not be around when we go up. Because we'll go up. We'll never be here forever. We are not there yet, but God is faithful. But there was no crookedness in our process. From the days we were paying 500 now per hour, per hour, so per month, five Sundays is how much? 5,000. And we could not pay. Until he brought us to this large place. And for about six to seven years, we have not paid a dime for this building. He tried our hearts and gave us favor. But his ways, his ways, his ways, his ways. What darkness wants to do is to, to tell you something that will block what Jesus is saying. So that in the day you are successful, you will say God did it. But in your heart, you will know that you used dark means. And God will not get the glory. You know God does not get glory because we said take the glory he gets it because he did the work darkness it is because of this invasion of darkness that God wants you to follow Jesus into that place where life becomes light because like I told them Lola this afternoon I said if we stay in the light we'll be hated we'll be spoken against but that is the future because one day the darkness will become so strong and the hope will be those who stood in light apostle iron said something is that how they pronounce his name or is he iron it's iron he said something he said i'll rather dress well and then get to heaven and i will hear that oh you didn't need to dress that well rather than dress badly and get there and say because you dressed badly what i'm saying is sometimes it's good to take an extreme position so that we tell jesus says oh you went this far to please me it was not really necessary to go that far now to meet him and he says is this how much you loved me you still held the world no i'd rather be an extremist and be a conformist it's because an extremist also has an object of, of conformity and it's the Lord but how can I save a world that I look like how can I save a world that I sing like how can I save a world that I dress like when they come into the kingdom what will be the difference that they came into the battle is not about being saved. The battle is about the face of the Christ that saved you. A Lord. And there is a gospel that wants to eliminate the Lordship of Jesus out of the reality of the believer. 
that you can be saved and your heart can become a new god and it will not survive as long as we have breath no 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 we will assail it not in anger we will assail it in very intelligent scriptural discussions until the world knows that everybody who sides with the world is against god and not against other men where's my wife we want to pray pastor Lela, you come and pray where's my wife I was showing you a short video I saw and it's not about anybody it was a table discussion four whites and the table discussion was all of three others trying to introduce themselves to one person so can you introduce yourselves to me so that I can relate with you and then they use long definitions I am a um, bisexual something 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 my pronoun is Z all right so you you know he and her be on that page when i when i googled they are like 21 or so from z from z to za to he and she and then there are many other ones and now to my what if you get to a country and you think that because she's a lady she's her and the person says you are infringing on my my right to identity why did you call me her see oh guy you're a girl now they lock you up because her pronoun is not her maybe za no no check because me i thought it was just fake until i went and i typed that word z-i-e there's also z-e they are different shapes they are even gender neutrals that they are not transgender they are not bisexual they are not um uh, all, they are not all those things they are just neutrals they, they also have a pronoun you know how nations got to that point they took government away from the commands of jesus they attempt to love themselves because of themselves and not to love themselves because he said so man became the object of pleasure until man became the giver of identity and that's why we're running to say no if he's not lord of all he's not lord at all he must command everything the renewed mind is not a master the renewed mind is a slave ha huh. can i say that again the renewed mind is not a master the renewed mind is a slave it's a slave of the christ ah <sighs> let's bow down heads this is god's burden for your shining because victor you will go to serve and you may be god's last hope where you are going to if you have not put pressure on the light god may not win where you are going to somebody's in a department here and you are god's last hope the last man who will exist on that government you will need to battle yourself away from conformity to the world and be transformed by the renewal of your mind there is a light that was encapsulated in the light in the life that you received that is designed to be God's last opportunity in a darkening world. Jesus said, He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but he shall have the light of life. I follow you. I want to follow until the light begins to shine until all the strands of self are lost and then i can be your witness in a darkening world our campuses need men as beacons of light the banks the markets even ministry needs men who will shine his light because it's all getting dark non-conformists 
Man turned to be extremist just so that he can be seen. God needs a man and tonight we want to sign up that if you are willing if you are willing Lord I am willing if you are willing Lord I am willing I will let this light so shine so shine before men that they may see my good works and bring you glory that in my days darkness will not thrive before I speak the light I will be the light I said Allah come and help me pray thank you sir If you will find only one man, I will be the one. If you find only one man that will stand for you, I will be that one. Kaboroko zete ketebekos. I will stand for God. You seek witnesses, you seek true witnesses. Men who will stand. Oh, Oh, Without fear, we will fly your banner. Without fear. Not fear of men, not fear of systems, not fear of the world. Mary Akababa, not fear of death, not fear of deprivation. Mary Akababa, Luas Kabarias Kabababa, we will stand for you. Rock up, 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 up
Rabeli Kabarati, Sapa Boriata, Roca Bendeswatai, Ropa Boriate. I said, Jesus, we know that I am. I said, Jesus, Eco Perecatiasa, Ruacabe, 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 I am Comberwasa, Sepe Compele Capa, Rapasa Beletete, Arapa Papa, Seco Pentepa, I am Comberiata, Sapo, Sapo Retepe, Rapasu Precatiate, Rapo Bele Cabenate, Rapa Caparatua, Sapo, I am Caparaco. Jesus will be glorified in my life. Recompense the ata. Repasa bronte. Retobelia cabarate. Repasa baya. La tua cabarante. Retobelia cabarate. Sequa. Sequa. Raporiata. Repele comberecate. I serve Jesus. I serve Jesus. Epele comberecai. Ekumatai. Rampen bombe. Pele comberecate. This light will glorify you. This light will glorify you without corruption. This light will glorify you. I'm beretete. I'm beretete. I'm very compelled to die. Rapwa kampe. Esopo kompeletete. Aya kapara kompele swatai. Rapwa kapapai. Aya koperetete. Anu presetiata. Rapwa kabande. Eru be 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 to. Isa bran kompele kabarate. Aya kapasu brande kete. Aru abande sebele kompara katai. Iya ba 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 bande sebele kete. Aru kabando si kabarata ta. My life will give you glory. In all things I serve Jesus. This is my resolution and my commitment. In all things I serve Jesus. The light that I have will not advance darkness. The light that I have will not advance the enemy. Neither his kingdom. In all things I serve the Lord. In all things, I serve the Christ. Oh, help us tonight, Jesus. Help us. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus.